this so hope everything okay i think this is the uh, after long time it's fine if you want to learn microservices with spring security from the scratch you are in the right place welcome to the journey through this video series i hope to do a production level spring boot microservices application with totally based on practicals not only that i am developing an industry standard both spring security module as well here i have used four services Config service, gateway service, discovery and auth service. Config service uh, contains all the configuration YAMLs which is uh, related to all other services. Uh, as an example, all the database configurations, Eureka, Sulfoxy configuration, frame client configuration and so and so. Um, next guys, uh, why, why I use service like discovery? so uh, i told i am using discovery service right so why am I use discovery service because uh, let's imagine that you are writing some code that uh, invokes a service that has a rest api right? in order to make a request your code needs to know the network location of a service instance right so in a traditional application running on a physical hardware the network locations of service instances are relatively static right in uh, in a modern cloud based microservice applications um, this is much more difficult to problem to solve right because a service instance have dynamically assigned network locations right so we need to elaborate service discovery mechanism for that for this uh, here I have used Eureka Discovery Service. Basically, uh, this uh, Eureka does is acquiring information about services that you want to communicate with. The service that register in Eureka server to obtain information about each other are called Eureka client. Okay, then uh, why? need for api gateway so when we talk about microservice architecture we deal with multiple microservice talking to each other right so we are communicating and dealing with ports right so where do you implement all the features that are common across microservices we have to have some place right so let's say authentication login auditing like like things so that's where the API gear comes into that picture, right? We need to store some common things in particular place, right? So in microservice, we wrote all requests, uh, both internal and external through API gateway, right? We can implement all the common features like authentication, login, auditing, and rate limiting like this in the in this API gateway. A popular API gateway implementation is Sul API gateway. In here, I also use Sul API gateway. Um, finally, authentication server. So this is the core module. So for this, I am going to use Spring Security with Auth2. In I'm expecting to develop this service in industry standard. Okay, then let's jump to the session and start implementing this project. When you are a project in your preferred ID, so project structure is like this. It's automatically created bond.xml because this is a Maven project and group also created like this. This is a main application. So this is a microservice application. So I need to add uh, multiple modules inside this uh, main application. So uh, I'll create gateway, discovery, and config and auth service. Let's do that. First, I create uh, auth service. This is our core module. Here you can see uh, uh, when you add new module, so you can choose uh, each one of these so if you are 
if you if you want to create a mvc application you you can choose this uh, this one so if it is a java application you can uh, select this so i use spring initializer uh, so because i need to create uh, uh, spring boot application in the our core application okay, you need to click next <coughs> as previously i did so uh, this is where we need to add your group and artifact and those steps you need to <coughs> assign <coughs> then group name uh, let's say our sub module is auth service then uh, group com dot take primers dot uh, authorization uh, you can add uh, this group names whatever you want so this language is java package is java so uh, java version java 8 and okay okay then package name is like this okay next uh, once you finish this is stops you can go forward so here uh, as previously as I did so you can add uh, maven dependencies uh, in in this pop-up so this, you can add any dependencies you want uh, I, I, I'll add some, some basic dependencies because this is a Spring Boot web application so I need web dependencies right? so I add Lombok dependencies and other steps actually i can add later so other than that right so i'll add some database depend database related dependencies like uh, apa repository yeah this is the one so i need so i use uh, postgres db so postgres sql driver and that's enough right so other uh, furthermore so i need to add more dependencies actually later i'll add so just click next and module name is auth service okay okay then finish okay you can see so once you add sub modules you, you is there right okay this is my auth service okay so now it's adding out. if you go there so you can see right so it, all the dependencies is there good right 